This week on Dressed and Clueless. Deep in the dangerous swamplands of South Carolina, amateur survivalist Daryl Bear with a survival rating of negative three. How's it going so far, Daryl? So far it's going good. I picked up the stick because a while ago I think I saw a unicorn. It could have been a black bear, it could have been a polar bear, it could have been a damn dragon. I don't know what it was. Either way, I'm ready for it. Deep in the foothills of the South Carolina swamp, survivalist Jennifer Bayer with a survival rating of a negative 3.1. Go, Jennifer. Well, I might as well just die out here. They gave me a mask and a fanny pack. There's literally no Uber Eats, no DoorDash, no flipping Wi-Fi, and absolutely no Netflix. And I'm supposed to survive with a mask and a large stick? Where am I supposed to eat at? Where am I supposed to get my Dasani bottled water? Where's the Starbucks? I don't know. How many days of this do I have to endure? Now going across dangerous terrain. How are we going to get through this, Daryl? That way. With this, that way. Six miles, we can do it. Now, we've reached our checkpoint. Six miles away. How do we get there? Well, there appears to be a small body of water. My plan is to collect three more sticks this size. Use my trusty mask as a sail. And I'm gonna sail through the terrain using three sticks and my mask as a sail. And how are you gonna get over the alligators? Alligators don't come for me. So it's day eight, no food. My genius husband saw one time where people were digging termites out of a tree. So he's attempting to find termites in this tree. He spent the last 10 hour carving these holes into this tree and he's yet to produce any type of termite or any type of insect. It's safe to say we're probably just gonna die out here. Any luck? Nothing. We've now come across this dangerous body of water where I'm pretty sure I've seen some pit vipers, possibly anacondas. In order to survive, we must get across this. Thankfully, my husband. What's going on over here? built this bridge let's go home huh? I just found my wife Jennifer after three hours and it looks like she was attacked by Wolverine or a small um, I don't know a wombat maybe a wombat she couldn't tell pterodactyl I'm not sure um, these three scratches on her neck right here has me worried I'm about to get out and see if I can find it whatever it was it could be dangerous for the both of us. <laughs> So it's gotten a little warm out here and there's no AC, but I've managed to find a system of a air source um, to cool me off a little bit. Could you go a little bit faster? I'm sweating. We finally come near the end of our journey. To get to the checkpoint, the last thing we need to do is get across this body of water. Note that I've seen crocodiles, alligators, and anacondas. My plan to get across Either jump on the back of one of the many crocodiles I've seen, hold my balance, get to the other side that way, use my mask as a slingshot, project rocks into the eyes of the alligators, crocodiles, possible anacondas, blind them temporarily, swim across. Wish me luck. All the luck in the world, babe. You got this. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dressed and Clueless.